Hello and welcome to Lenovo Unboxed. As always, this is Gavin with my good friend. I'm Kevin. Hi Kev, how are you? I'm doing well. Good, good. It's, it's nice to be out of retirement. It's been so long, two years. Two years since our last video. Uh, I know you've been working as a hand model. Yeah, I and have, I've, I have I've, in I've, retirement in uh, Florida. Congrats. You know, shuffleboard. I've been a freelance <laughs> angry internet commenter, but it's good to be back. Um, and we're here today uh, because a couple hours ago in Berlin, uh, they revealed a new Lenovo product, maybe a new kind of product, a new category, and it's called the Yoga Book, right? That it is, that it is. So we're here to talk to you about it today. Um, and by the way, wherever you're watching this video, it may be uh, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, if you have questions along the way, and we hope you do, please weigh in and our community managers will, uh, will chat you up and reply if you have specific spec questions, or if you want to tell us what you like or don't like about the product, yep. have at it. Be as angry or happy as you like, and we always appreciate it. We know you will be anyway. We know, <laughs> we know. Um, so before we show you guys what's in the box, we want to prolong this moment of agony. Um, Kevin, let's talk a little bit about um, where this product came from. Okay, so I could literally talk for 20 minutes about everything I've read about the history of this product. But just and so to you're just going to want to drag that little dot on the YouTube video just right past Kevin. Yeah, because you know me, obviously. <laughs> uh, so just to try to make it as short and sweet as, as possible. So the team has a whole lot of technology, a whole lot of concepts, a whole lot of ideas, and a whole lot of user feedback, and a whole lot of wants and desires. And it's not an easy thing to be a product manager and a product development team. They gotta take all that and distill it down and try to make something that is new, different, compelling, that people are gonna like. And that's ultimately what they were trying to go for with this, is they, they took what they knew about tablets, about the way people used them. For example, you and I have had this discussion, right? We have similar attitudes about tablets, but we use them in very different ways. Sure. Right? We both have a phone and we both have a notebook that we carry pretty much everywhere. And for me, a tablet is something that stays literally charging on my desk 75% of the time until sure. I pull it off to like lay on the couch and watch a video. We've, for me, in the past, we talked about relevance for a tablet. Mm -hmm. How do you make a tablet relevant when you always have a work laptop next to you and a phone right. in your pocket? And we talked about gadget fatigue. Right. How right. many devices are too many? And some people have like a much lower threshold than us for gadget fatigue. Like they only want to carry two things. And that's really really at the crux of what the team was trying to do here, is to take, not a phone, but take something with laptop-like functionality and shrink it down to a tablet-type form factor. You know, so it's still a tablet, it doesn't lose its tabletiness, right? But right. It, uh, it's ultimately much more productive for people. And there are two different versions, an Android and a Windows, spoiler. <laughs> um, but here it is, Kev. And the first thing you notice about it is what? Super thin, super light. <laughs> Super beautiful, and it's, this is the champagne gold version, right. what which else we is got? not bad, right? We also have gunmetal gray, mm -hmm. and uh, the Windows version is going to come in carbon black, which sounds like, you know, business sexy, right. you know, sexy neutral. Right. Uh, we've got 4.05 millimeters on the thickness on one side. It's 9.6 millimeters in its, like, total thickness, and uh, the first thing you'll notice is, obviously, it has a yoga-type hinge. Yes, it does. And by the way, millimeters and grams and all that stuff. What, what is the weight, by 1. the way? 1.5 pounds, 690 grams. Okay. All that stuff is good. I can never quite get my head around it. But when you hold it, as I hope you all will mm -hmm. afterwards, um, you appreciate that it feels like a clipboard. It feels like a light clipboard. Mm -hmm. um, it does not feel like a computer um, in terms of the, the weight. No, no, it really doesn't. So, uh, so it looks decent to me. It's about as thin as it can be. Uh, the hinge is a cousin, if you will, of mm -hmm. our yoga laptop that's become somewhat iconic in its own right. How does this one compare? Is this a, a hybrid or a version of that? It is. So when the team looked at the uh, original yoga hinge that goes on the notebooks, they, uh, it has four pins, four rods that go across it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they knew that just wouldn't fit. To get this thing down like under 10 millimeters, what mm -hmm. they got to, 9.6, they knew that multiple or four rods wouldn't work. So they shrunk them down a little bit, got it down to three rods, re-geared the gear set. So there's three rods. I have no idea what that means. But that sounds significant. <laughs> the engineers in the room will know what it means. Yeah. Uh, we've got nine uh, sets of gear sets across here, so a total of 130 moving metal parts uh, that make up this hinge, plus a little covers for a couple of covers for the ribbon cables that connect the two parts together. Cool. Um, and then all of that in the lab is tested to 25,000 open and close cycles. Very cool. So the one when you buy one of these and you open it up, they, it won't be all dirty from someone opening it and closing it 25,000 times, right? Well, it doesn't have anything to do with dirty. It's, okay, <laughs> yeah. So it will be dirty then. No. It could be dirty. And then in terms of the durability, yep. so the hinge, again, tested 25,000 yep. times is significant. Open, close, open, um, and close. if you guys are familiar with our ThinkPad yep. laptops, you know that we're, you know, mm -hmm. testing products is like a religion to Lenovo. <laughs> um, but the, uh, how about the case itself? What is the chassis? Uh, mag the chassis, as, Le our chassis. <laughs> as our friends in Europe would say. Yes. Uh, it's a magnesium aluminum. Alloy. Okay. 
That sounds durable. Is that durable, Kevin? That's the whole point. I'm glad. Yes. Um, and if you want to, while you've got it out at this angle, I don't know um, if you want to show everyone the ports on it, if we can get a close up from yeah. our crew here. Because this is an unboxing video, so I'm going to show the gentleman over here. We've got uh, USB, micro USB charging, a micro HDMI, a speaker, another speaker, a power button, uh, an up and down volume rocker, and a headphone port. Pretty simple. I like volume rockers. Volume yeah, rockers. Yeah. You used to be one back in the day. I was. I turned up my, my volume quite a bit, and yeah. I'd rock. Um, and Kev, while I might hold it for you, and you want to show everyone again, since it's a rare occasion mm. that we have an actual box, why don't you show us what else is in there? Uh, we have uh, the To Be Discussed Later book pad. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and set that over there for you. Fascinating. Uh, and then, because it is an unboxing, we'll go through this. We have, see, it's all a very nice, cool uh, arrangement in the box very here. Minimalist. I the like pen. It. Ah, there's a pen. There is a pen, and there's Spoiler. there's a little cubby hole here where you pull where you have the uh, the extra refills to turn it into an ink pen. An and there's ink a reason. Spoiler a reason, number seventy. There's a reason for that. Right. We've got the uh, product manual. Okay. Right. And the uh, and this is the uh, technical term, the pokey bit. The pokey bit. Yeah. Very timely with Pokemon Go. Good. See how I did that? Looks a little uh, like a Charmander. The pokey, mm -hmm. the pokey <laughs> bit that we plug that you uh, that you use to pop out the tray for the SIM card. Uh, and then power, power brick and power cable. Good, good. Um, now let's get to the heart of it, Kev. I'll give this back to you. Um, uh -huh. there's, a, there's a term you can see on here, and we love to make snarky references to our own marketing, even while we're doing marketing here on yeah. some level. But the term productivity on the go is here. Um, and this gets back to the whole notion of what is a tablet. The first tablet I ever had, I liked, but I didn't really use. I couldn't mm. find a way to make it useful. The second one I had, which was one of our yoga tablets, right. I used a lot more, and it was fun, but I'd say when I needed to be really truly useful, mm -hmm. I moved over to my laptop. Yep. I feel like I'm, I'm having a moment personally, I don't know if other people will feel similarly, but this feels like there are aspects to this that are making it cross that line from fun to useful, from, a, yep. from what could be construed as a vanity product to a truly yeah. useful one product. So um, it, productivity on the go to me means flexibility. It right. means it's an acknowledgement of the way we all live and work. We're always moving. We always are demanding different things from a device, mm -hmm. maybe demanding too much at times. Well, um, and it goes right back to what the team had in mind when they first built this thing, right? Because they knew they had the ability to do a tablet, obviously. They had the ability to do a tablet with long battery life. They had the ability to do a tablet with a keyboard that came apart and snapped back on, sure. right? But that wasn't quite what we felt that people wanted or what people were telling us that they wanted. So hence, they came up with this design that incorporated the whole yoga concept of four different modes, okay. uh, but then implemented the keyboard and a writing pad in a very different way. All right, so I want us to jump to those modes, but first let's talk about, again, this notion of flexibility or productivity, mm -hmm. the options that we're giving people. So the OS. Right, so Android or Windows. Okay, choice of Android or Windows, good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, uh, the battery life. Right, 15 hours in Android or 12 hours in Windows. Sweet. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. And then what other what other kind of relevant specs? I know you can go yep. to Lenovo.com and get the full specs. We're yep. not here uh, to spit them out. But. Four gigs of RAM, 10.1 inch uh, IPS uh, FHD screen, 64 gigs of storage, Intel Atom processor, Dolby Atmos sound. And the sound, we were playing around with the sound. Really For such good. a tiny device, it's kind of shocking, actually, yeah, when you yeah. see how much sound Pretty you can awesome. get out of it. Um, and then let's go right to the modes. And if you guys want to get a slightly tighter shot here, Kevin, again, coming back from his uh, side job as a hand model. Um, the modes, and we've talked about modes with the Yoga laptop. But again, the, the first one, which is, uh, which is sort of basic, but has a surprising twist, is the type mode. And we'll go right. a little deeper on that in a minute. Yep. Um, and then go ahead and bend for me, Kev. The create mode, we're calling it, that's where the pens come in, right? Yep. Um, and then as you continue to bend, remember it's the 360 watch band hinge here, right? The third one would be watch, so you're, you're watching a movie. Love this one in the kitchen, by the way, if there's a ball game on and I'm yep. cooking, because it's not all over the greasy counter. Yep. Um, and then the fourth is just straight up tablet mode to browse, right? So that's your four modes, but but mo modes are more sort of, that's what Lenovo people, that's what engineers or marketing people talk about. Let's talk about the inputs, kind of the way that you're going to touch this thing, right? The first is literally touch, right, Kev? Yep. So, of course, there's a touch screen here, and you can use it in all four modes as a normal touch screen tablet. Uh, but the thing that the team wanted to do with the keyboard yeah. was uh, really take the best of what you can do in a physical keyboard, right, which is get feedback. So that's been enabled as like haptic vibration feedback. So when you type on it, you can feel that you're typing. 
Uh, and then the great thing about software keyboards is you've got flexibility. You know, sometimes you can you can uh, uh, you know adjust the sensitivity. And the sure. way that we've done that here is to do research into the most common. I think it's seven most common things that people mistype. So because the zones. A LOL is my big one. Yeah, I, I yeah. always do L O Z. So sorry. Go ahead. But there are these common mistakes people common make. Common mistakes right. that people make. So they can actually adjust the shape and the size of the target zones, they're called, that are actually under the keys in software to not be error correcting, but error preventing, to keep you from hitting the wrong key in the first place. So imagine a physical keyboard. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I guess we kind of buried the lead here. Yeah. This is a keyboard with no keys, right? I don't know how much you guys are able to get a tight shot of it. So but does that make it it's, a board? It's just a board. <laughs> yeah, but it's insane. And so again, you're, you're, you're kind of, you're, you're splitting the difference between a a physical keyboard and what you might call a virtual keyboard. Um, but imagine a real keyboard, a sort of Dolly-esque keyboard with keys that are different sizes, and it's kind of crazy to think about. Yep. But uh, again, it's a, an example of sort of the nerdy attention to detail that we count on our engineers having, right? Yep. Um, and at some point at three o'clock in the morning after a lot of coffee, they came up with this one. So <laughs> God bless the engineers. Yep. So that's the, that's the keyboard. Let's switch to maybe um, the most surprising parts of this. Uh, there, one, Kev, is the digital stylus, and then there's an ink pen aspect, right. right? So let's see if I can do this so that everybody can see it. Um, this is the stylus that comes in the box, just a regular digital mm -hmm. stylus. And the cool thing about this is it basically turns this entire keyboard section over here into a 2048 pressure Wacom drawing tablet. 2048 pressure meaning what? 2048 levels of pressure. Yeah, so okay. as you push the uh, the, the subtlety, it understands like exactly, the, the, exactly. the level of uh, exertion, right? Right, and so um, I'm not much of an artist nor a calligrapher, uh, but let's see if I can make this work. You're not much of an artist, but you are fluent in Japanese, so here we, yeah, so here we the have. Japanese and Chinese character for new. Nice. Right, so you can Classy. write calligraphy, you can draw. Obviously, uh, our friend here on the screens is doing a much better job of drawing on this than I am. Indeed, yes, <laughs> yes. We do have the, uh, the side screens here. All right, but there is one more interesting mode. If you will hand me that. Yes, so that was the, that's a traditional, what you consider now yeah. a traditional digital stylus. Yeah. But this is where things get kind of weird and wild, and I thought kind of exciting. Yep, uh, so we're calling this the book pad. Uh, so it's actually just a pad of paper with magnets that align onto the system. So I can take that, fold that back. Let me uh, erase what I've done here with my uh, finger. And if we can get a shot of this, you can see that what I'm doing is writing on this. This, oops, it helps if I don't have wrong, it in eraser mode. mode. Yes, this is. Your penmanship <laughs> continues to be <laughs> abysmal, I'm pleased to see. You'll make a great doctor. One of these days. <laughs> there you go. Right. So it duplicates what I wrote in pen on the screen. So you can keep a paper copy of your notes as well as and, a digital copy. So of your and notes. this is sort of magnetically held in place. And what I thought was shocking was actually it's not just one sheet. I pictured it being just one sheet of paper, and yeah. I actually tore one out when I first used it. Yeah. But it's actually the pressure is going through all of these. Uh, is that right? Of paper, exactly. Cool. So you got your keyboard, you got your digital stylus, you've got your ink pen. Um, it's a, it's a, a number of different ways, again, to reflect the way that we all work and play. We're playing during our work day, don't tell the boss. We're, you know, we're working at night, let's be honest, don't tell my wife. Yeah. Um, but it gives you the kind of flexibility and, if you will, productivity on the go yep, uh, exactly. that, that, that one needs. So Kev, uh, let's, let's wrap it up here. I, I know we always go on long, <laughs> but that's why you have the little red dot you can yeah, drag. Exactly, so you can just um, skip ahead on us. Who is this for? Who, who, who is Lenovo banking on being interested in this? Uh, you know, I have a semi-serious answer and a flippant answer, and I'll give you the semi-serious answer oh. first. Uh, okay, I'd go flippant. Uh, 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 the flippant answer is people, right? People. I, I, mean, <laughs> I knew it. Imagine that. I knew it. Right, so uh, th I do honestly think that there are parts of this that are going to appeal to uh, a large number of people, mm -hmm. right? It's not going to be for everybody, but there are going to be a lot of people who are going to look at this and say, you know, it's, it's the perfect compromise or the perfect uh, uh, adaptation of a full-size notebook, which some people don't necessarily need. They need more than a phone and they need more than a traditional tablet. Mm -hmm. Right? But the, uh, the semi-serious answer is students of all ages. Yeah. Right? Anybody who has the need to consume media, to watch a screen, to look up something uh, on a web browser, but also write and take notes at the same time, or artists, you know, students of art even. Sure. Right. Yeah, I love the idea of being able to, I know my kids w will watch a YouTube video and have mm -hmm. to take notes on it for class, and that's a huge, yep. a huge help. So um, that is the yoga book. Thank you for being with us in here today. Um, this goes on sale in parts of the world in September, mm -hmm. also October. 
Yeah. Uh, it's the uh, the Android version starts at 499. Mm -hmm. uh, the Windows version, I believe, starts at 599. I've seen it as 549, depending mm -hmm. on where you live. Right. Um, but this is uh, a product we're excited about, and we're glad you could be with us. Kevin, welcome back from your retirement. You too. We'll get Thank you, you back to your shuffleboard game. <laughs> and and thanks all right. to all of you. As so always, take care. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks.